Hey everybody, Graham Elwood here at the Political Vigilante with Jeff Waldorf from around the nation of the TYT Network. Hey. How you doing? Doing great. Um, and we were just on this demonetization panel. It turned into a war. <laughs> it turned into, I, it I hijacked it a little bit with the war stuff. But, no, that's good. Um, what was your, it was really interesting because it was me and you and the moderator and Raka Raka Ali and um, Daisy. Uh, Rucker, so, so it was. A, what was your take on? The, I thought it was a really interesting and debate that we got in, like me and you and Rucker were sort of debating, oh, yeah. so, which was interesting. What was your take on it? No, I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was great. We had a lot of different perspectives. Daisy really hit sort of the um, you know female right. perspective, and I, and, I, and I appreciated that. I didn't always agree with 100 percent what she said, but I mean that's part of the course when it comes to these debates. Uh, but Rucker, I I like him, but. Oh, I don't agree with him. <laughs> you know, I, the thing I said it was really, and I said this to him, um, I just found out who he was leading yeah. up to this event. Me too. And, you know, obviously he's got a lot of videos and stuff that are very like, controversial. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and I wasn't sure, like, is he going to come on stage and just say, like, crazy stuff to sort of push buttons? But he had these very well thought out, articulate points. Even if I didn't agree with him, right. I was like, well, he came to this, this, this opinion reasonable. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't agree with a lot of it. When he was like, oh, we should deregulate the banks. De like, deregulate the banks. He did throw in a charge of anti-Semitism. I don't know if you caught that. I did see that, like, anyone saying... Yeah. If you're against the banks, you know, it could be, oh, it's because it fits into this trope of anti-Semitism. I was like, whoa, whoa yeah, I, I don't know. There's so much I didn't agree with. Right. But, but he did come and he did think these positions out, and it's genuine. And that's what's yeah. important. I mean, you know, when it comes to any debate... You want to make sure you debate someone who's genuine in their positions, yeah, that's and that's that's what's good about this. That's that was the best part is that you know everybody here believes what they say. They believe what they say, and and you know the audience seemed to be a little more right leaning or libertarian. A little conservative, a little but we cons all came to Great. an agreement on a lot of things, especially against the corporatism, yeah. especially against the war, the yes. war panel. And, uh, you know, some of the more esoteric deregulation versus regulation arguments, you know, it was it was hit or miss, but they generally agreed that corporatism is a problem, but the solutions as far as... We disagreed on the solutions. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, there were more uh, geared towards free market personal responsibility, which I can respect that position. I, I can too, you know, I, I can, again, and the, and the number one thing people came up to me afterwards and said mm -hmm. was... There's a couple of people who were like, oh, dude, I watch you on Jimmy Dore. I've seen the political <laughs> vigilante. You're awesome. Yeah. But a lot of people came up and said, man, I don't agree with like, a lot or some of what you said. But thank you for saying it because that's the thing. Like, I don't know if people understand. So so because there's, like, a lot of right-wing people on this event today, Antifa threatened to blow up the theater. We had to move to a different venue. And uh, this is my problem. Had they got it shut down, we wouldn't have had this really interesting debate today. And these conversations, which I think are really important. You know, I said, and it was a big clause line, you know, and I really kind of got this from Kyle Kalinske, but I agree with it 100%, you know, that you, the best way to counter bad speech is more speech. And he's absolutely correct when he says that. That's what I believe too about, well, the Graham, well, you, you, you're giving these right-wing people a point of view. I believe my stance is better. Mm -hmm. I, I just believe it. The ideas it. are better. My ideas are better. They help more people. And you know what? Maybe I turned a, a, a view or two in that audience. Maybe some of these libertarian or conservatives went, hey, he's got a decent point there. Because they agree that corporations are bad. And I kept I kept saying so. So I just believe it's more compassion. It's, it's yep. anti-war. And again... If we come to a place, if we both, we all agree on that we want this outcome, we want to take care of the, the least, the, you know, the impoverished, and we want to end war. Right. Great. Then let's have a round table. Let's get some smart people in and find out the ways to do it. And, and the best way, the ones that, you know, that will work, that will benefit the most people. Yeah. It was really cool, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I cannot stress this point enough. When you're coming around people, especially if you're a lefty, which most of you watching the show is a lot of lefties watch my show. If you just shout down the right, you're a fascist, you're racist. Look, if he's, if he's a, like a, an avowed, if someone's like, I'm a Nazi, well, I'm not really going to debate that. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you if you show that you're a racist, well then, it, it, you're, you're a racist, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And, it, and you should be able to say, dude, I think you're kind of a racist. Yeah. And that's fine. That, that, is, that is free speech, and it would be in some circumstances correct. 
I think there, there is that overutilization, of course, of the word, and, and to try to shut down debate for said. And I understand that, but I don't think that's the, as big of a problem as some people make it out to be. It's not the solution. Shutting right. down. Like, shutting down speech is not not a solution. Like even look, Rucker made some points that got big applause breaks against me, and I was like, great, it's like fine. let's have it, man. Let's and so. Shutting down this kind of speech is not, shutting down these debates right. is not the answer. But it's not the answer. So, Absolutely. it's fantastic. Thanks for I watching. And what, tell us everybody your show again. How can they find your show? Uh, you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash TYT Nation. It's Around the Nation with Jeff Waldorf. That would be me. <laughs> uh, and I do a live show every day from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern on the TYT Network. Awesome, guys. Like, share, sub uh, subscribe. Push these videos out. Support what I do at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. The links are in the show notes. That is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's my backup for if Google sends the CIA to deplatform me. Thanks for watching so much. You're making Gotham great again.